Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium review. Today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Matchbox Real Working Rigs. Just a little bit of history on this series. Matchbox came out with this about 10 years or so ago, and uh, actually it was quite popular with the HO scale model railroad community because these trucks, you know, resembled the real thing, and they had a lot of functionality, and they were actually pretty cool. So I'm kind of glad to see them come back. Anyway... Before we start, we'll take a look at the packaging. Here's the first one. It's an excavator. Some nice packaging art on it. And on the back, it just explains what each of these do, the functions on them. So there's the excavator. Here is one of the more popular ones thus far. This is the Pierce uh, Velocity Aerial Platform ladder truck. Ladder works on this. Pretty cool. Next, we have the International Durastar 4400 flatbed tow truck, or rollback. And last but not least, you have the MBX, or Matchbox, crane. So I actually have a set of these open, and uh, we'll see what they do. We'll start with the excavator. So the tracks do roll on it. Um, which is unusual for Max Bo Matchbox because most of the time they have wheels underneath the tracks. Uh, so the tracks do roll. It has some decent functionality all over the place. Um, it does spin 360 degrees. And the color scheme is somewhat attractive as well with uh, construction orange and yellow. So that is the excavator. Here is the international rollback and this has a couple different pieces of functionality uh, this goes in and out not entirely sure what the technical term for this is but this is obviously where your front wheels would go when you're towing a car and here is your uh, rollback mechanism for the ramp and it's large enough that it will fit uh, most of your hot wheels or matchbox or green light cars on the back of it no problem and there's a little bit of indentation on the top of it so that it kind of catches the wheels so it won't roll off. So really, pretty nicely done. So there's that one. Here is the Matchbox Crane. Um, obviously taking after a uh, mobile crane. This one is not licensed, so it's not, you know, a Lee Bear crane or anything like that. But uh, it does look good. It has telescoping sections on it, so you can get pretty high on it. Uh, it does, again, rotate 360 degrees. The stabilizers are molded into the casting, so they don't work. That would have been a nice touch, but, you know, these are matchbox. These are not technically models. Um, also on the front, you have a little piece right here that you can hook the chain to when the vehicle is uh, moving. So, nice crane. And last but not least, my personal favorite is the Pierce Velocity 100-foot aerial platform uh, ladder truck. Right there. Just like the crane, the stabilizers don't work, but at least they're molded into the casting. Nice rear end. And some nice detail all throughout. It says ladder 5 on it and it also says Roanoke Fire EMS for the paint scheme. Here's how the ladder works. It has one telescoping section right here and you can move the actual um, platform or bucket or whatever you want to call it to uh, replicate whatever angle you want. So there you go, guys, the uh, 2018 Matchbox Real Working Rigs. These retail for about $5, so they're not that bad. Uh, they make great um, starter or donor models if you want to upscale these, like change out the wheels or maybe um, add some 3D parts to them to make them a little bit more functional and a little bit more realistic. But they are great models. They look great just by themselves. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.